this is Anthony Salazar. I just wanted to do a video explaining how to install a magnetic reed switch on the wonderful Audio Ape remote. So these are the uh, reed switches that I use. These are normally open glass reed switches. I got these particular ones from Amazon for just over a dollar each. When you open the Audio Ape remote, the back, uh, you'll see holes at the bottom. Um, I attach one of the leads of the reed switch to the farthest hole to the right and one, two, three, fourth hole in and I bent the reed switch so that um, it matches the holes. I bent the leads on the reed switch using needle nose pliers. You have to be really careful because the glass on the reed switch is very breakable and it shatters really easily just by bending the, the, the leads. I went through a bunch of uh, reed switches uh, just trying to bend the reeds to match the holes. Uh, this is the magnet that I used. It's a ceramic magnet. However, I put a, um, a neodymium magnet, uh, earth magnet, on top of it to make it a little stronger. You'd have to experiment with the size of the magnets and the strength of them uh, for your purposes. Uh, I also put a piece of Velcro on the back to keep the magnet from sliding out of the, uh, the holders, the little straps that I use uh, around my ankles. So when you put the magnet next to the uh, remote with the lead switch on the music plays and if you do it again the music will stop uh, depending on how you program or uh, and what app you're using as well but that, that'll trigger the play and pause button. Uh, these are the straps that I use. These are Futuro wrist straps. I know um, they might be a little small for some of you guys but I have really thin ankles so it works for me and I have two of them. Uh, they are made for your wrists but it works, it works for my ankles. The great thing about these straps is that they have um, pockets uh, already in them for your remotes and your magnets. They're already in there and the, the magnet um, goes right inside and the, um, the Velcro prevents it from sliding out. So I just stuff it in there like so and the, uh, the remote goes on the other uh, strap. I put the back of the remote facing out because that's a side where the reed switch is and that'll be uh, the most sensitive uh, uh, part closest to the magnet. As far as placing on your ankles, I put the magnet on the inside of my leg, uh, just above that little bone on your ankle. Um, there's uh, two straps on the, uh, on the Futuro's wrist straps. Uh, with a velcro on it so it's really secure that's one that's two so the magnet is on the inside of my ankle uh, so I put my feet together um, I put my right foot back uh, a little farther behind at an ankle uh, just like so and I lift my ankle up just a little bit and I find where the magnet touches my leg that is where I put the remote the, so the remote goes around that spot uh, using the velcro again that's one and that's two, maybe a little farther back, and that is where I place the remote. So when my feet are together, it will not trigger the remote. Unless I lift the ankle and put my foot on my back. So again, the music stops, feet together, doesn't do anything. I put my foot back, lift the ankle, and it starts again. Hopefully this answers your question regarding the ankle placements and the reed switch placements on the Audio Ape remote. And thank you, Charles Peachock, for making it. Uh, enjoy.